systems transformation, the clarion call of our time. Greetings, I'm Michael Quinn Patton, author of Blue Marble Evaluation and co-author of Getting to Maybe, How the World Has Changed. I've been doing evaluation for over 50 years, and I'm here to talk about what we've learned about the nature of systems transformation and its evaluation. We live at a time of multiple overlapping crises, the climate emergency, pandemic, increasing world hunger, violence and economic turbulence on the rise, disinformation and misinformation globally, and increasing global inequities, what's being called the poly crisis, multiple interacting, mutually reinforcing crises. And we're ill-prepared to deal with those, either in the intervention side or evaluating those interventions because we remain mired in a linear project mentality where steps for clear, specific, and measurable outcomes are predetermined in a very narrow landscape. Instead, we need to be applying system thinking, looking through a complexity understanding to create systems and complexity-based theory of transformation that would make a difference in the world. And we can learn about the nature of transformation from historical examples, like the end of slavery, the end of colonialism, the end of apartheid, transformational social movements like Mothers Against Drunk Driving, or the pushback against the AIDS epidemic, efforts to reduce smoking worldwide, and the Me Too movement aimed at ending sexual harassment. What we've learned about these systems transformations is that they're emergent. They happen through decentralized actions of many diverse actors, often moving in the same direction, but without a shared plan and nobody in charge. They are cross-scale and cross-silo. They occur across multiple distinct yet interdependent scales from the personal to the global. They're nonlinear and unpredictable. Little things can lead to tipping points, while enormous efforts may lead to nothing at all. They're cumulative. They result from a series of both large and small changes that generate critical mass over time. And they're certainly often resisted by powerful status quo actors with vested interest in the way things are. Evaluation's evolution has moved from simply measuring goal attainment to bringing in logic models and then theories of change to add causal attribution, but a theory of transformation is yet a whole new challenge of looking at the intersection and integration of multiple theories of change. That theory of transformation is derived from a cumulative body of research and knowledge that points to interlocking networks as the pathway to transformation in complex dynamic systems. Accelerating systems transformation then involves connecting actors working on distinct theories of change, education, for example, regulations, incentives, people creating connections across silos and sectors, and evaluators using network analyses to help identify gaps, disconnects, opportunities, and leverage points. Evaluating a theory of transformation then involves criteria that help engage that transformation by having all hands on deck, the call of our time, including evaluators. And so the evaluation profession has adopted sustainability as a universal criterion in all evaluations, and that all evaluations should address equity through the Equitable Evaluation Initiative. This means evaluators tracking trajectories toward major systems transformation along lines of sustainability and equity, monitoring interconnectedness across different efforts to identify, understand, and evaluate the interconnections that are essential and integral to transformation, to support, nurture, catalyze, and accelerate those transformational trajectories. Zooming out to look at the big picture and zooming in to look at specific initiatives and seeing their interconnection and ways of supporting each other. It includes transforming international development infrastructure and architecture to be able to deal with sustainability inequity beyond project mentalities to genuine systems transformation. And so a theory of transformation must include evaluating transformation that requires transforming evaluation, connecting not only the networks of social change agents, but of evaluators for a visionary evaluation for a sustainable and equitable future. 